I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, spoiler alert, everybody dies. It's my review of Final Destination 5 right now. Careful, it's not my time yet. I'll say this for Final Destination 5. From the opening credits through the final kill, they really make great use of the 3D. There were a couple of times when I felt as if I had to wipe the bloody innards right off my dorky 3D glasses. The lucky few survive the disaster. And then one by one, death comes for them all. I was actually a fan of the first Final Destination film. It was like the goriest Twilight Zone ever with the whole you can't cheat death premise and all those creative kills. The follow-up films have just been repeat exercises with attractive and mostly forgotten young actors narrowly avoiding a disaster only to find themselves getting systematically offed due to ever more ridiculous and gruesome circumstances. Is that supposed to be happening? There's a kind of cheerful sickness to Final Destination 5. The only characters dumber than the young professionals who escaped a bridge collapse are their adult supervisor, the federal agent investigating the so-called case, and the blockhead LASIK surgery doctor. What an idiot this guy is. Some of these young actors do show flashes of talent. Others are destined for careers asking customers to please drive up and pay the cashier. This one Tom Cruise looking guy. Anyone could be next. It could be you. Understand? Nobody's safe. I'm sure he's a nice young man, but I've seen better acting from drunken department store Santas. I've seen better acting from my last girlfriend when she told me it wasn't me, it was her. I've seen better acting from the girl at the movie theater who tried to convince me that those ice cream covered pretzels dipped in mozzarella sauce were fat free. So let death have somebody else in your place. There are a couple attempts at something resembling a plot. Some of the young and doomed are convinced that if they kill someone, they'll be spared. Good plan. And there's another big twist that would have worked a lot better if it wasn't telegraphed early on, but I still kind of dug it. I can't imagine anyone going to a Final Destination movie and not being entertained by the splatter-filled roller coaster ride. It's not called The Help, it's Final Destination 5. You know exactly what you're in for. So I'm going to assign a number of letter grades to this movie. I give it an A for disgustingly effective use of 3D. I give it an F for being so stupid and for some of those excruciating performances. I give it a C overall as a movie, and I'm going to give it my first ever GBB for gross beyond belief. Have fun! I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels Channel, TV About Movies.